Good afternoon, and uh, I've just literally come on uh, at a moment's notice, so I don't really know what I'm going to say. We're talking about sort of things from last night, uh, the game, um, the opposition, how we set up. Um, people on Facebook this morning complained about us only having 30% possession, but yet they want Eustace back because that's how he played. We never had majority possession when Eustace played. Everyone wants him to wants really to play the way Eustace played. And when he does, everyone complains about it. So the guy can't win, really, you know. Uh, I do think there's a, a, a massive uh, split in, in the uh, in the support at the moment. It's very fractious, and it sort of spills out on, on, into, the, into the ground, you know. I mean, uh, last night, there was, the, the atmosphere was really awful, you know. Uh, there's, there's, there's things being said about, you know, arguments... You know, we're running with the crowd, and uh, I know for a fact uh, Beck, who who runs this channel with me and and runs our Facebook uh, our Facebook uh, group, um, BCFC the project. Please join us. Um, she was there last night and said, you know, she almost felt like crying for Rooney when he came up to the tilt and, and sort of, you know thank them uh, and the abuse was awful i'm not saying you've got to applaud him if you don't you, you know if you don't support him but don't uh, you know that verbal abuse is terrible at the end of the day the guy's a human being you know uh this year in our group we're doing a big thing on, on supporting people uh with mental health issues you know bear it in mind you know i mean these are they're still people uh, whatever you might think of them so, um you, you know the stuff with ashley cole and john o'shea i uh, Rumours. If anyone's got it on video, then send it to me and I'll take it up with the club, right? But I tell you now, no one's got it. And if you have, prove me wrong, send it to me, okay? BCFC The Project on Facebook, just join it, send me a link or direct message me and I'll and I'll get in touch with you and I'll send whatever you've got to the club and ask, and ask for a response from John O'Shea or Ashley Cole and let's find out what they're playing at, all right? Game itself... Bristol City bossed it, didn't they? You know, could have won it. It was a drab match. We never looked like scoring. Uh, we had a, a good performance from um, from Donovan. You, you know, he looked absolutely sort of shattered after an hour. He went off. Stansfield went off. I don't know whether it's his last game or not. People complained about taking Stansfield off. He's a lone player, okay? We had, a, a, we, we, we have got Tyler Roberts, okay, who who is going to, replace Stansfield and people on our group this morning like you know like Roberts was crap he didn't the guy did nothing wrong last night he had a few touches he hasn't played for months God's sake you know I don't know what it is with our fans sometimes some of the fan base is really really you, you know just off it just ain't good um uh, uh there's reports about Steve Cooper, people asking me if I heard anything about it. I know nothing about it at all. You know, um, it's not impossible that something could be done. I think the way the fan base is at the moment, I, I, I think definitely, you, you know, Warner's got to be looking at it and thinking, uh, you know, where do we go from here? I don't know what Gary Cook's doing. He's gone quiet. I don't know. Perhaps Gary Cook needs to come out and just say something. Perhaps the club could just come out and let us know what's happening, you know, because, uh, you know, it's the elephant in the room at the moment is that the fan base isn't happy. And uh, whether, you, whether you support Rooney or you don't, or whether you're just like me and you just want to see what happens, we don't have to have for Rooney and against Rooney, but what we do have to have is unity amongst the fans. Don't start fighting amongst yourselves, for God's sake. It's only a difference of opinion in football. There's a lot more important things in life. You know, we're all Blues fans, but please have a little bit of respect for each other. And for yourself, you know, don't lower yourself to that shit. You know, it's just rubbish... So we'll see what happens. Transfer window, people asking me about January loans. We've got five out. We've got five loans at the moment. We're allowed eight. You can only have five in any match day squad. So for instance, if Stansfield went back, that would mean we could have another four. But you can only have five in a match day squad. There's no point in us having eight loans when we can't put three of them on the bench. <clears throat> even, you know. So uh, and it wouldn't work for the for the for the loan for the club that's loaning the players. Um so perhaps, uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. We're only going to be able to buy anyone substantial if we sell someone. So if you're all you're all saying, wait till the January window, I've said it a million times in the group, I get sick of saying it, there is going to be no January window unless we do something with the players we have. So for instance, if you want to say, sell 
Jordan Giles for six million, then we're going to have some money to play with. If we don't want to sell anyone, then nothing happens. If you're talking about Hogan, I think Hogan's probably on his way to Sheffield Wednesday, loan or something, or, or you know, whatever. But we ain't going to get no money for him, right? And the others, all the others that we talk about, you know, Etheridge, uh, Duke of Vich, Robert, they've all got six months left on on their on their uh, tran- on their contracts. They're not going anywhere. All right. Why are they going to leave now? When they in six months' time, the free agents they can do whatever they want. Their agents will now be looking for clubs for them to go to at the end of the season. January is a shit time to be bringing players in. You can't work with them. You, you, you know, we all, everyone wants to work with players for the summer. So you're going to have to be patient. I think, you know, we haven't got any money to spend anyway. And uh, everyone wants Rooney to go and they're talking about bringing new managing. And you've got to think about how they're going to manage the finances for that. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, we're going to play Leeds on Monday. We're going to see what happens. Do you think he's going to play like in the Eustace setup again? Uh, it was very similar to a John Eustace setup last night. Forwards pressing sometimes, you know. Uh, the long ball in use a lot more, especially from drama down the right hand side. And Longello doesn't always look that you know that comfortable at left back. Uh, of course, thing you got to remember is drama won't be playing on Monday because he's a Leeds United player, and we can't play lone teams against lone players against a parent club. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thanks for uh, th- thanks for just watching this. Please, please. Subscribe, will you? Just do us a favour. Subscribe. If you want to comment, comment. Come and join us on our Facebook group. It's great there, okay? BCFC, the project, all right? Come and join us, all right? Thanks very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you soon, all right? Thank you, and, uh, you, you know, if you're going to Leeds, have a great time. Been there lots of times myself. It's always a good place to, to go to, but uh, stay safe, all right? See ya.